Hey YouTube, uh, this is just a video about my HHO system and uh, what I can do with it right now and some other things I'm going to do in the future for it. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up and I'm going to show the torch first and then I'll explain some stuff. So here we go, I'm going to go ahead and put my goggles on because I don't want to get anything wrong. So. I just cranked up the. There we go. Now we have any gas coming out of our torch. And I'll light it up. Okay, I don't know. I can't see it too well. Yeah, I guess you can see that. Against like, against that. Okay, and maybe you can also see the water vapor that this thing gives off. pretty ridiculous actually I think what I do I need to do is I need to get a gas dryer and dry this gas because it is very I don't know it's a lot of water coming off that so go ahead and do a couple of tests I don't um, here's a normal can let me get this better it's hot I gotta set it up on this Yeah, so there's the can. Uh, I'm gonna go. I don't know where to put this. It's pretty hot. Let me try to find. Oh, uh, there's a nail. All right, so let's see. Yeah, yeah, you can see that nail here. I'm gonna heat it up pretty hot, and we it should get some sparks. You can see off of it. And I don't really know how it looks on the camera because I'm wearing these um, like welding goggles. So I, I apologize if it's a bad shot or anything. Yeah, there we go. We're getting some sparks off that. It's pretty hot there. I don't even know the exact temperature. But, yeah. That is pretty much the torch. You can see it there. And sometimes it changes colors from like blue to yellow. I don't really know what it means at all. Wow, that's bright. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's the torch. I'm gonna go ahead and sh shut it off here. It's kind of hard. There we go. Alright, now let me just let this cool down. I don't know how... Yeah, that Coke can is cold now. Here's what it did to the can. Um, I didn't do all this in the video, but you can definitely see what it does. It just melts straight through that. Uh, my nail, I don't... It's not too... I hope that... Yeah. Let me go to macro mode. Get a better shot of this. You can see how it melted that right down. Looks like there's some. Yeah. So. That's all for that. Um, the, the thing is. It's kind of hard to heat up iron that hot because pretty much like the steam that's off off the torch it, it like reacts with the uh, iron. So, let me turn this pump off. Hold on. And I'll turn my supply off. All right. Um I'm going to explain a couple of things. Uh right now this is my power supply. It's in like its most primitive state, I guess you could say. Um it's pretty much I'm gonna upgrade a lot. 
Um, here's an amp meter. This isn't part of it. It's just clamp on. Um, anyways, uh, this is a microwave oven transformer. It has some windings here that can handle about 72 amps um, within the uh, rating of the wire. There's a bridge rectifier, which I am upgrading this. Uh, sorry. You can see there's this black box here that's attached to a heat sink, and that's the rectifier. This is going to be the new one. You can see how much bigger that is and it's like a metal casing. And I'm gonna have a heat sink, you can see that heat sink. The new heat sink is probably gonna be the size of this board or somewhere near it. It's gonna be really big. And so that'll help dissipate, dissipate the heat from this because that's the, that's the hottest part from all of this is this uh, bridge rectifier there. That, that's really hot. Um, so anyways, yeah, off the bridge rectifier, what the, that does, it changes the AC from the transformer to DC that my cell needs to run on. Um, it powers the cell, which here I can show it. It's just 28 stainless steel plates that are um, all, they're like, and there's, it goes positive, neutral, neutral, negative, and all the way through, it's 28 plates. So the out, this gas output goes to my water reservoir up here. Let me try to get a better, better angle. Water reservoir, gas output to my bubbler, my bubbler through a flashback arrester, um, which I am also upgrading this. This is, it has a lot of resistance to the, the gas and I'm getting one that hopefully has lower. I bought one, that one I made. And then there's my torch, which I also made. So, and I also have a flow pump, which it pretty much just increases the amperage. So, uh, anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Again, I'll probably update some when I have that new flashback arrester, a new power supply, pretty much. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. And you can see what the power of this stuff does. So, thanks for watching, and, yeah.